everyone, it's Mariah Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today, <laughs> we're doing a really fun video. <laughs> it's on the Zebra Mild Liners um, kit versus the kits that I've gotten off of Amazon. Okay, so as I mentioned in my stationery haul video, this kit, I was at Target. I also checked it's available on Amazon for those who would rather just order it in case it's out of stock. But I was in the pen aisle and I was like, what? So I bought this immediately. This was, I think it was 15 to $20. It was like two months ago now that I bought it and it's literally, I've been like sitting to film this. I haven't filmed in so long guys. So I've already filmed pr prior to this intro. I've filmed like um, overhead shots. So I think I'm gonna be either inserting them into the video periodically when I talk about the different colors or just all at once, but I'll show you guys here too. So on this left here is the 15 count um, pack that I got at Target also. I, did I say it was on Amazon? It's also on Amazon. Okay, so I just swatched all of the ones from the 15 pack that I got at the store. Um, and I just realized that the ones that I got online are each in a 5 pack. And I have 4 of them, so I have 20 markers, not 15. So I'm thinking some of the colors might be a little different. So let me just go ahead and swatch those and then we can... Uh, talk about the markers. Um, so here next to it are the colors that I have that I ordered off of Amazon. So So there's supposed to be 20 shades because there's five in each pack, but somehow I've lost a mild liner, which is like very upsetting. <laughs> so I don't know where it is, but of the ones that I've swatched, I can tell you the ones that don't like match up between the two. So the in the 15 count case, the ones with the stars, I'm gonna do an overhead shot so you can see better. Um, the ones with the stars are the ones that are not in that pack. And I think honestly that that was the package of mild liners that is kind of sold separately and it's more rare. So when you order them online, they come in five packs and typically you'll pay like $13, which is what I paid for three of them. So you'll get 15 for $13. And then I was like, what is this fourth like pack of my liners that everyone like talks about that's like a mystery? Um, I believe it's the one, is it orangey in color? The package of it? Anyway, so I paid $13 specifically just for that one just so that I could have it in my collection so I could have all 20. 
Um, so it could be those five shades that are just like not very common that they just decided to keep out of this pack that they're selling in stores. So there are some cool things about this. It has like a little folded over situation thing you do with the cover and it like folds over and it's like a stand. So it'll like sit like this on your desk. Super cool, right? So it'll sit like that on your desk. Oh, I don't think you can see it, but it's all nice and upright. Um, there are some, I just kind of wanted to go over like size and shape and stuff like that. Um, so this is the one that came in the online kit. Uh, uh, if you're at all familiar with mild liners, the ones you order from, oh, it is from Japan. So it's Japanese is printed on them. There's no English other than like the title and the little um, arrows which say this is the bold tip and this is the fine tip. Um, so the one that comes in the pack that's sold in stores is in English. There are unfortunately no names on them which is kind of, I don't like that honestly but um, let's show you the two tips. These are the same. And the ones, the fine tips, are exactly the same as well. So it's exactly the same marker. They write the same as I've showed in my test in my journal. The one thing that I do like about these as well, though, is that you can identify the ones that come in the pack. They have this, like, colored mark right here, which matches, corresponds to the color of the pen. So that way you can tell if, like, the pen... So they're in my pencil case, but... The ones that are online, if they're all like this, I don't know which color it is. I have to like tilt the whole thing up and like find the cap. So this is definitely a nice feature to have this um, little marker line to show you. Um, so do I think it's worth it? I do. I think it's worth it to kind of get them all together and it's kind of nice to go into the store and actually be able to buy them because for someone like me when I first started bullet journaling I was like why is this stuff only available online like I could literally only order it online and that's kind of a little frustrating when you're like waiting to get started you're like Ugh. this is also kind of a good gift idea for a student as well or someone that really like maybe is starting college or loves to study or that kind of thing is a pen person um so yeah definitely i love my little kit <laughs> um so currently i'm kind of just gonna like if i am to go anywhere and travel i would probably bring that versus like all the pens that are loose like i don't know if you can see them they're in my little thing over there normally i lay them flat though so that the ink doesn't move around in a weird way in the pen but yeah, so totally think it's worth it. I'm trying to think. There was like three. I wanted to compare the size, the colors. Yeah, so that was it. That's all I wanted to compare. I, I wrote I write little notes. I was pinning videos out. Um, so the size of the pen, how they write, that they look a little different, and that I like that. Yeah, so I'm going to link them below for you guys so you can purchase them off Amazon if you would like. But they're also available in stores as well. And Target is my place, so that's where I got mine. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!